Mills Young here, part of Pick Dogs. Who's ready to bet on UFC? Me. That's who. So I'm back. UFC bet with me. All right. We got a big card to talk about. Roman Delice is going to be taking on uh, Imovov in the main event. Got some cool, uh, cool, good fights to talk about. So we got about 12 to 13 fights to talk about. But before we do, a new champion, DDP, was able to get that belt. Uh, you know, in a five-round fight that, you know, some people thought was controversial. But I thought he won. Um, I had him as my premium pick as well. Like I said, um, it was one of those things, though. My heart said DDP, but the pick said Strickland. But, you know, I, I got to bet with my heart sometimes. So that's just how it goes. But, yeah, man, DDP was able to get the belt. Um, You know, so surprised, man. But, look, we got a lot of news to talk about. Kayla Harrison just got signed to the UFC. You got some new exciting fights to talk about. The BMF title is up for grabs with Justin Gaethje taking on Max Holloway. But, hey, man, let's go ahead and get it started, man. UFC bet with me. First fight of the night. I'm taking, I'm looking at Thomas Peterson, 8-1, and one, taking on Jamal Pokes, 10-4. and four. Jamal Pokes now, I think this is his third fight in the UFC. Came up in the Contender Series, but he was one of the guys that had to fight on the Contender Series twice. Then he got signed, and he barely got signed. He begged Dana White for the contract, though. Um... The fight IQ on both of these guys is questionable, and the fight resume is not trustworthy. But when it comes down to it, Peterson is going to try to get his wrestling going. He came from the same background school as John Jones, Kobe Covington, and another like highly um, accredited wrestler. So he's going to be out there trying to push the pace. Jamal Pokes is going to be a clean striker, better boxing out there. Um, Peterson's opened up a minus 165 favorite on there. I actually think the dog is live in this one, man. I think that Jamal Pokes will be able to stut down, shut down some of the takedowns and keep it on the feet, you know, and uh, win by decision. So I, I'm taking the dog in this one. Give me Jamal Pokes to win in there. On the over and under, if you guys are worried about that one in there. All right, so they got the over and under at one and a half, over one and a half at minus 245. I love the over in this one. I think this one goes the distance. I'm also going to be playing uh, fight to start round three as well. All right, second fight taking place. Markel Madoris, uh, eight wins, one loss, is taking on Lando Quinona, seven wins, two losses, one draw. Uh, Madoris made his debut on the UFC Contender Series. He was able to get that win. Quinones, he was on the Ultimate Fighter, you know, um, and he wasn't able to get the contract, wasn't even able to look good. He faced Jason Knight in there, and if you can't beat Jason Knight, to me, at this point, you shouldn't be in the UFC. Then he bounced back with the fight against Nazareth Hasbrat, and a fight that, you know, Hasbrat was able to do what he wanted to and win by decision. He's 0-2 in the UFC. The line on here, though, Madeira's opened up minus 145, all the way down to a minus 120. A lot of people's liking Quinones in this spot. I like Madoras in this spot. I think he gets it done. I think fight goes the distance. I'm going to take Madoras to win by decision as well. Third fight taking place. Third, uh, first women's fight of the night. Julia Storolorinko, 11 wins, 7 losses, 1 draw, taking on Luana Carolina, uh, 9 wins and 4 draws. Uh, nine wins and four losses. All right, now look. Story Lane goes a minus 130 favorite out here. Carolina, come back on her, you know, plus 115. Both these women, you can't really trust them, you know. They're usually underdogs in their fights. Now one's a favorite. Who are you going to trust? I don't know. Storolinko, though, she has it in her, man. She was fighting like some ruthless stuff before she came into the UFC. But she's going to be the lot shorter girl in here. I think Lerana Carolina can get those body kicks going. She has a, lo a long, a, a long uh, kick that she likes to throw to the body and keep it on the feet. I mean, she's been tested already against grapplers, and she showed that she could win. I mean, she put an upset against Lupi Godinez, and I think Lupi Godinez is a way better grappler than Storo Lenko. Um, Then again, and this one, like I said, it's not nothing I could trust in there, but I'm going to take the dog money on Carolina. I think she wins by the decision. Fourth fight on the card. Blake Builder, 8-1, taking on Jiang Young Lee, 10-1. Blake Builder, last time out, dropped the ball for us. We had him against Cal Nelson, and he was he didn't look good at all. Uh, but before that, he was able to get the win for us. Now he's bouncing back an underdog in this spot. Lee, he's coming on a layoff, man, about a year and a half layoff. Um, you know, he has uh, two fights in the UFC. He's one of those fighters that came from, um, you know, uh, on the road to the UFC, uh, those, those Japan and Chinese fighters. I like Blake Builder in this spot, man. I think that, you know, he should be able to get the wrestling takedowns that he needs. I think he could win by submission. Lee, you just can't trust him at this stage. You know, a year and a half off and, you know, doesn't have like those fights under his belt. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the yard with uh, Blake Builder in this one, man. I like the dog in this one, man. I think the dog's out the cage. Give me Blake Builder to win by submission. And what round? We taking him in round three, man. Blake Builder wins by submission round three. Fifth fight on the card. But before we do that, smash that like button for me. Let me know what you guys are betting on today, man. Okay, you guys got any good UFC bets? You got any bets for the weekend? You got any Super Bowl picks? Let me know. All right. Demba Garimbo, 11 wins, 4 losses, taking on Pete Rodriguez in the welterweight division. All right, Pete Rodriguez, 5-1, coming off a win off of Mike Jackson his last time out. Demba Garimbo, hmm, big favorite, minus 230 on the cards right here. But he's been looking good in his last two fights in the UFC. Um, You know, uh... Height difference is going to be significant for Thimba. I think he's a way better fighter than Pete Rodriguez. Pete Rodriguez, a lot of his fights doesn't go past the first or second round in this one. Um, he's one of those guys that, you know, he beats up other fighters that shouldn't be in the UFC, if you ask me. Garimbo, he actually has some good, uh, you know, um, attributes about his uh, style that he can do. He can mix in the takedowns when he wants. Uh, he can mix in ground and pound, too. I think Garimba's live in this one. The price might be off, but I think Garimba wins inside the distance. Uh, give me Thimba Garimba to win in round two. All right, sixth fight on the card. All right, Charles Johnson, 13 wins, six losses, taking on Isaac Makassam, 17-0, undefeated. All right, the opening lines had Makassam open up at a minus 170. Now he's up to a minus 210, okay? Um, Charles Johnson has fought his whole career in the UFC Apex. And he still can't get his wife a goddamn ticket, man. UFC, if you're listening to this, get Charles Johnson's wife a goddamn ticket so she can see his man fight, man. All right, man. Charles Johnson, though, man, he made his name in LFA, you know, uh, uh, putting on performances after performance. Came into the UFC, taking a lot of fights on short notice. Um, You know, uh, the volume isn't there in his fights. Sometimes he seems like he's, like, you know, in his own head. In this one, he can't do that, man, because Moxon, he's going to be out there relentless with the takedowns, and that's the one thing that Charles Johnson struggles with his takedowns. If Charles Johnson can keep this on the feet for 15 minutes, of course he can win, but that's a big if. I think Moxon gets this one done in this one. All right, next fight on the card. Molly McCann, 13 wins, 6 losses, taking on Deanna Belbita, 15 wins and 8 losses. Both these women fought already, and Molly McCann won. Long story short, Molly Cam McCann's a minus 230 favorite, okay? Stepping down to this weight class, okay, to the 115 division. Both these women, if they weren't fighting each other, I don't think anybody would be betting on them. I happened to interview Molly McCann at Bellator 300 and talk to her about some things. Um, In this one, though, I like Molly McCann to win inside the distance. I think she's going to finish Deanna Balbita. I'm going to take her to win by KO in round one or round two. I can see her hitting her De Deanna Balbita in that body. And Belbita just falling out, folding. Yeah, man, I'm going to call it, man. She's going to hit her in the body and then hit, hit, hit her with something else, man. But, yeah, she, I think she wins by KO. Give me Molly McCann in that one. Also a solid parlay piece. All right, next fight on the card, main card. Gilbert Arena, seven wins, two losses, taking on uh, Charlie Ratatouille. Uh, eight wins, three losses. Charles was able to get the win last time out against Blood Diamond. Looked good in that fight. Gilbert Arena was on the Ultimate Fighter, uh, you know, uh, the last season. Putting on some good performances in there. Wasn't able to get the win. I think he lost to Trayshawn Gore. Since then, took like a year off, or not even a year off, but we haven't seen him a year since the show. And in that time, it looked like he improved. He came in here and got the win in his first UFC fight. You know, looked good in there, pushing a uh, good performance. Athletic kid, uh, you know, can strike when he wants to, can mix in the takedowns and wrestling. He's a minus 200 favorite on there. I like Gilbert Abrina in this spot, man. I really do, man. I think he's a solid parlay piece, too. Um, You know, and um, yeah, man. So go ahead and give me Gilbert Abrina. And I got a two-team parlay. Molly McCann and Gilbert Abrina. Get your money. All right. Next fight on the card. Mahmoud Muradov, uh, 26 wins, 8 losses, taking on Ashbek Kajarov, 14-0. Kajarov has one fight in the UFC, folks. We don't know what we're getting out of him, man. Why? Because he's been sitting on the sideline for a long time. Dagestani wrestler. Uh, but, you know, when he goes out there in these fights, sometimes he gasses out real quick in his shows. Mark Mark Murdoff, he's up and down. Looks decent in some fights and some fights he don't. But the striking is there. Clean, crisp boxing. Why? Because he trained with Mayweather and it was one of Mayweather's first fighters that he sponsored, okay? And the takedown defense isn't always there, but... I'm going to go ahead and say it, man. If he can get this one to the later rounds, I think he's going to be live in here. Um, Man, I, I just can't trust Alish Kebab. You know, I just can't. And I'm going to go ahead and take Murdoff in this spot, man. Give me Murdoff to win in round three. Let's go ahead and call our shot. 
All right, next fight taking place. Man, I love this one a lot. Natalia Silva, 16 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. Taking on Viviana Arroyo, 12 wins, 5 losses. All right, Natalia Silva, minus 350 favorite. Uh, Viviana Arroyo, you can get the comeback on her, whatever you want. All right, Natalia Silva, clean striker. One of the girls that's moving in the division, ranked number 13. She's going to be moving up if she can get this win over a highly touted uh, veteran in the sport. I think she... I think she's live in this one. I think the odds is off, though. I think it's a recency bias. A lot of people like Silva, so they're just betting her at this price. But I think Natalia Silva wins. I'm going to be taking her to win in the third round or win by decision, okay, to, pri to, to cut down that price tag on that minus 350. If you guys want a parlay piece, take Silva and my and uh, Azat Maksam to the two leg parlay piece. All right, next fight taking place. All right, Randy Brown, 17 wins, 5 losses, taking on Muslim Salikov, 19 wins, 4 losses. Randy Brown, these guys were supposed to fight already. Now he's back as a big favorite, minus 260 on the books. Muslim Salikov, I like this guy, man. I made money with him a lot, man. Goes by the uh, master of Kung Fu, hard hitter, uh, you know what I mean? Randy Brown, he's out there. He's keeping his hands down, though, when he's striking. You know, he has a range of uh, strikes they can hit you with. Uh, you know, goes high, goes low. Um, you know, not the guy that's going to go out there and try to mix in the takedowns, but he's liable to submit you if you do try to take him down. Muslim Salikov, clean striker, you know what I mean? Um, I like the way that he pushes the pace. When he wants to mix in the takedowns, it makes him even a better fighter. I like the dog in this one. I had him last time. I'm taking him again. Give me Muslim Salikov to win. I think he wins. Uh, Yeah, man, I just think he gets it done. All right, cold main event time, but before we do that, smash that like button. All right, Renato Marcano, 17 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, taking on Judoba, 27 wins, 12 losses. Marcano opened up a minus 130 favorite. He got steamed. He's all the way up to a minus 185 on here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I bet him at a minus 130, but at a minus 185, I don't know about that. I think he wins. I'm going to play this fight, not to go the distance. Both these fighters can finish. Drew Dober's been finished his last time out against Matt Frivola, uh, you know, but he can finish anybody. The chin on him, nobody questions that, man. But I like Money Marcano in this one, man. I'm gonna take Marcano to win by sub, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say sub him in round one or two. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, sub round one or round two, Marcano for the money on that one, man. All right, co-main event time. But before we do that, before we do that, I need you guys to let me know what you guys are betting on right now. Go ahead, let me know. Then I'll get on to the main event. Who's your best bet? Who's your best dog? Who's your two-team parlay? I'll wait. Oh, okay, that's who? That's who you're betting on? All right, let, let me call my bookie right now and put that bet in, too. Now that I know that that's who you're betting on, I'm telling up and I'm following y'all, too. That's what we do, man. All right, now it's time for the main event time, man. Roman Delice, 12 wins, 2 losses, taking on Nazardine Imovov, 12 wins and 4 losses. All right, we got Georgia versus France in this one, man. The comeback, Imovov's a minus 165 favorite on the book. And hey, man, I'm going to just be honest with you guys, man. I usually bet Roman Delice a lot. Um, this is a guy that I like, man. You know, he came into the UFC a little bit older, you know. Um, when he did, though, I think he got, what, he went like one in, no, what was it? I think he lost his first fight, but was able to win the other ones. But just to clear it up, let's let's go over it for you guys. Because, man, I kind of like this guy. I think he, you know, doesn't get the respect that he deserves. But so let's see, man. So, yeah, comes into the UFC. Uh, you know, get, gets his first win against uh, uh, Igramov. Then another win over John Allen. Okay. Lost to Trevin Giles. Lost to Marvin Vittori. All right, cool. Better than what I expected then. All right, so yeah, man. A win over Kyle Dawkins. Had him in that fight. Was able to win in that one. Okay. Win over Phil Hawes. He beat him up, you know, because Phil Hawes got injured. But then the impressive win was the one over Jack Hermanson. I think this is the one that put him on the radar. That fight versus Marvin Vittori, he lost, okay? He lost by unanimous decision, but I think the fight was a lot closer than what some people played it out to. Um, you know, I don't think it was unanimous. The other guy, Imovov, we've been following him now for a while, you know. He's coming off of a fight with Chris Curtis to where, you know, it got ruled a no contest. Uh, you know, they got a head bunny, and he said, hey, I, I can't go on. I, I can't fight no more, you know. Um, before that, took that L to Sean Strickland. Then he had a win over Joaquin Buckley, went over Shabazzian, a win over Ian Heinich, man. Okay, so you got one guy that's going to go out there, try to 
add up more value and clean strikes to win the fight. Then you got one guy in Delitze who's going to go out there with the power and just try to counter you and knock you knock you out. If Roman Delitze can mix in the takedowns and make this a takedown wrestling fight, I love him in this spot. But if he doesn't, and if Imavov is able to just kind of pepper him up and stay on the feet, I think Imavov wins by decision. All right, so I've been kind of back and forth on this fight all week, and it's time to decide. I think this fight goes over three and a half, and then um, I think Imavov could win by decision, okay? The only way I see Roman Delice really dominating and winning this fight is if he goes relentless for takedowns and just gets him down. But Imavov, you know, um... He has decent fight IQ on him. Um, when he has his back up against the cage, he knows how to stop some of the takedowns in there. Um, I think Imavov wins this one. But if you guys are asking as far as like eyes value and dogs, Roman Delice is a live dog in this one, man. So, you know, do what you guys want with it. All right. Now, look, you guys want to see what I'm betting on, my best bets, my round props, my in-between parlays, uh, you know, and just my straight up picks. Head on over to Pick Dogs, man. We got it all up there for you on the site. All right. Now, look, man. Stop. For the recap real quick. All right. Just to let you guys know how we're seeing this week on the board. All right. So, we got a lot of dogs that we like in this week's card, okay? But we're going to be taking it lightly. And I'm going to be playing a lot of over and unders on there. I think a lot of these fights, I see some uh, great value in, in round props and stuff like that, Okay. Uh, my two solid parlay piece would be uh, Molly McCann and um, who was it? Uh, Molly McCann and Gilbert Urbina. Um, and then another parlay that I like, uh, I'll go with Maz Maxim and then I'll go with Silva. Okay. Um, but yeah, so do what you guys want with the picks and everything. Let me know what you guys are betting on. What's your guys' best underdog to get us paid? Mills Young here, part of Pick Dogs. And if you guys want to check out some of my interviews, check me out at MMA Locker Room on YouTube. I just interviewed Miranda Maverick. She's fighting on UFC 298. I just interviewed Max Griffin. He's fighting on February 10th. And I also have an interview with Molly McCann up from Bellator 300 who fights this week. All right. Mills Young here. Make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe button. And hey, man, it's us versus the bookies, man. Let's beat the bookies. That's what we're doing over here.